When it comes to drawing with BricsCAD and other CAD systems, all of them use what are called support files. Files in addition to the main DWG file that handles things like fonts, line types, and the content of the user interface. Paths tell BricsCAD where to look for these files. To access the paths in BricsCAD that point to folders containing the files that it uses, you go into the settings dialog box. So here's settings on the menu bar. Settings, I'm clicking. And then I'm going to click the uh, program options button on this toolbar here. Click it and then work my way down and there is files. So I click on the plus sign to open up the files. I drag this gray line over so I can see things better. You can see that there's many uh, folders and paths to deal with. The primary one is this one, and it points to the folders that contain things like text fonts, line types, hatch patterns, and you can see the examples down here on the, the help area. The uh, save file path is another interesting one, and that's where the backup and temporary files are stored. Now, anytime you want to look at the contents of a file folder, the way to do that is not straightforward. First of all, you click the browse button over here. And then you can see that it uh, lists a bunch of folders, but it doesn't show what's in the folders. So you click up here where the path is displayed, right click and copy. Then you go into File Explorer, such as this one, click again, and this time go Paste, press Enter. And here we have this file folder with a lot of temporary files and so on. These are all ones that are created by and you can tell by the date and time that they've been created for this particular drawing that I have open right now. But you can also see some other files that are more interesting. For example, this is a save file. It's left over from when BricsCAD does its automatic save every few minutes. And another one that's interesting to look at is this one. That's a backup file. So when you save the drawing, the previous version is now renamed as a backup file. In extreme cases, you can recover these. And the way you do that is you click on it, backspace over the extension name, change it to DWG, and then say yes to the warning dialog box. And now you can open it as a regular drawing file. The same thing applies to the automatic save file. One reason you might want to edit the support file search path is because you also use AutoCAD and uh, you want BricsCAD to be able to use the support files that it uses. The support files between BricsCAD and AutoCAD mostly are compatible. If you've customized things in AutoCAD, a lot of that can be used by BricsCAD, saving you duplicate effort. The way to edit it is to go into the search file path entry, click the browse button, and here you see a list of paths. Starting from the bottom, this one goes to the help file, this one goes to fonts, this one, the support folder, which has the majority of support files, a second folder with support files. To add a folder, you click the Add Folder button, choose the Browse button, and then navigate to the AutoCAD folder. I'm going to cancel for now. If you want BricsCAD to look in one particular folder before it looks in another one, then you select the folder and click the up arrow, and that moves it above the first one. And then to delete a folder, you click X. When the name of an item in settings is in gray, like these ones, it means you cannot change them. They're read only. And typically they're set by the operating system or by BricsCAD itself. Let's take a final look at a couple of other file paths you may want to change. For example, sheet set template path. If your office has a central file server that stores all the templates, you may want to point this path to the folder on that computer. Alternate font is the font that BricsCAD uses if a font is missing from a drawing, and so it'll substitute this one. You may want to change that to something like Arial.tff, which is the most common TrueType font. The default.fmp file does font mapping. That's if you have drawings coming in from another CAD system and their fonts don't match the ones in BricsCAD, you can edit this file and put in the names of the equivalent fonts. Now you may want to have more than one FMP file one for each different CAD system, and you can specify that here. Mm -hmm.